This one is on the GNOME Activity Journal. Uh, at first, I thought it was a searching tool. It's not actually a searching tool, but let's see what it does here. Okay. So this is the UI, and the way that I'll describe this program is um, if you ever use what is it called? The recent documents. It's basically this, but a dedicated program to do that. Okay. So. Like I said, it's not a searching tool, so you cannot actually search for something that you never access. You have to at one point access the file or open it or modify it, whatever it is. Okay, and then it'll go into this program. Um, so in a way, it's kind of like a uh, a history log. Okay, it's not actually a searching tool, but let's see what it can do. So this is the multi view, and this is you know they show you by days. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I'll show you what files you've accessed on that day. So you see, these are the files I've accessed it. And I do have different views here. See a thumb view and then a uh, timeline view, which is they show you like what hour. So you see, they go by 24 hours. So it'll tell you what hour that you've accessed it. Pretty convenient if that's what you need. Okay. But let's go back to the first view. And down here, it's kind of like a, I guess, a bar chart or, or a. I guess um, you know if you, you want to go back to whatever days of you uh, that you accessed it like a month ago, you can see that I still have all the files that I've accessed a month ago. So it's really good at keeping history in that terms, okay? And what else do they have here? Uh, this is the about. Uh, they do have plugins. None of them is actually that great at the moment, but they do have that. And the way you navigate uh, between these is like they have this little, you know, left and right arrow here. And if you actually go to like maybe last month, you can click on this and go back to the current date. And this is goes to the current date, which is Saturday here. So that's what they have there. Uh, another thing is if you do use the search tool here or the filter, it doesn't really search the way that you'll think it does. But if I search for dual, okay, and uh, you know, just search for dual, it doesn't give you the results. It doesn't do that. It does what it does is right here. If you look at the bottom, okay, and you see like a little color, a hint of blue here, that means there's a file that has the word dual in it, and you would actually have to click on it to see if that's what you're looking for. So it's not like a searching tool that you're used to, but uh, it does find the files that you want to access. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing is you can actually hover over it and it'll give you a little preview. Okay. And that's another thing you can do. Um, some of these you can actually filter out, like what uh, you know you're looking for, like if you're using websites or emails or whatever, you can do that. Not a big deal. Uh, what else you can do here? Oh, you can actually pin stuff. So you have this little pin pane. It's kind of like the Nautilus thing. If you want to, you know, right click on this and add the pin, and it, it'll be like in your favorites or something like that. You know, like this. And you want to remove it, click on that, that. So that's basically what this program is. It's basically a history log of everything that you've accessed, like your chat log, your you know your videos or your scripts or your you know your documents whatever it is that's all it does it's not really a searching tool alright so that's it so this is the front end the GNOME activity journal the back end is the, called Zynets and uh, add the PPA in and what you want to do is um, let's see here install uh, Zynets okay that's the back end and the front end is called the GNOME activity journal so that's the one right there. Just install those two and you're good. Okay. So that's it for that.